Hi and welcome to this Blue Room Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Pound Yen as the 157 level has held. So we actually spoke about the 157 being a pretty important level on the week ahead analysis video as the market looked to be pushing down towards this 157. So when the market opened, we were looking for shorts down to 157. So if you did manage to jump on anything there, you can see that it's around about 135 pips to the downside it even carried on a little bit further towards the 155 spot 50 handle for a 284 pips so nice move down into this 157 and you can see that we're now testing a key area of structure the market um, recently found some support down at that 157 uh, in the past and we've almost traded um, in between this kind of range that formed between 157 and 149 and we haven't really been able to close back within the area we tried here um, but failed as price came back to 149 rallied straight back above it traded on further to the 168 spot 25 handle we've then rejected around there so we've almost got these kind of cohesive or or continuing ranges after a rally so we've had this rally up we've had the range we've had a rally up We've had a bigger range. Are we going to see another sort of rally up to the 175? And are we going to range between 175 and 168 spot 25? You know, is that the next sort of thing that could happen here for pound yen potentially? Um, you know, we still have the problems with the, uh, the the Bank of Japan. They're not hiking interest rates. Um, you know, the pound or the Bank of England are still looking to hike interest rates, even if it is at a lower pace. Now. 157 holding here is quite interesting because of that technicality we can see there or that technical pattern that we're looking at um so if it is going to hold where could we see price going to well the obvious is the 168 spot 25 price has come into this high numerous occasion and has failed around that point before dropping lower so if you are going to look for your opportunities around this level long that's the area to target for any kind of moves up here. You see, we've also had a confluence with this uh, trend line that formed back in December 2021. So the 2021 low there, um, or December 2021 low there, also had this trend line coming through, which has held the support. So multiple confluences. If we drop down to a daily, you can see how strong the market has rejected this area today. There's been little in the way of pullback and we've just had pretty aggressive longs coming in. Looking at the four hour as well, you can see how aggressive those longs have been. So what we're really looking for is, are we going to get a pullback here? Now we can look at the hourly to kind of determine when this kind of started to kick off. You can see it was all down through here. We had a bit of a slow, we had a bit of a, a sort of aggressive move up in the morning. This afternoon has been fairly slow or through the middle of the day has been fairly slow until sort of the US um, open starts to come into play around about this period here. Um, and we've started to push aggressively to the upside market, really favoring a more of a sort of risk on sentiment. So really speaking, the the, the move that I'd be looking for is back down towards this 157.50 handle. We had a lot of demand coming from this area because basically we've stalled and then aggressively moved higher. So that would be where I'd want to be long in the market, um, along with these guys here. You know, if these have got long in and around that point, push price quite aggressively to the upside well i want to see if they defend this position if they can come back to it so if price comes all the way back down through here there could be an opportunity to get long around that point if we go to the four hour it doesn't look as daunting as the one hour you can see we've got that nice little area there so you know easily could see that pullback coming into uh to play um market recently found resistance up at the 162 handle you can see there was a slight high formed after quite a large aggressive move down price rejected that we saw an aggressive move maybe this is where price will target initially before heading towards the sort of uh, highs that we pointed out previously so definitely something to be aware of but i'm looking for a pullback here 
what would be nice as well is if we did get this close this week, if we did have a nice strong weekly close. Now, we do also have to remember the markets are a little bit chaotic at the moment in the last, uh, you know, usually the first two weeks of the year can be a little bit um, choppy. That's because uh, everyone's kind of coming back to their desks at the moment. So um, lots of positioning or repositioning going on at the moment. So a range bound market is, is more likely. So could we see price move towards that? 168 spot 25 for pound yen that's what i'm going to be eyeing up so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more forex trading content and i'll speak to you in the next video